Hi, I'm Cameron Cavaz and I'm here today presenting for you wonderful viewers of Veggie Vision. And I'm here today at the Bristol Vegan Fair. Let's go get stuck in. I do what is called Rainforest Cuisine Limited, or Mom's Jungle Things. What I do basically is just to go back to the natural things, how we eat. If we're to look for a better world, save energies and all that. Seeds, trees and animals are the major things that the earth requires. And us loving and care, living in harmony with nature. That's all we ask and that's all that will carry the earth. Okay, and these are lip glosses here. Those are a few selection of the lip glosses we're doing, and we're also doing lip creams. And we're very proud of the packaging it is in. A community oh. of women in India Fantastic. does them for us, and they're fair trade. Amazing. And we're working on it, making it as refillable as possible. Okay. So you have a look at this. You can see the little gap in there. Yeah. You can just pop that out. It's got a magnetic base, and you can buy the refills for five pounds. So it's recyclable too. Yes, and we just managed to make the lip glosses as well. Oh wow! Um, and obviously, it's the same thing everybody's saying. It's a shock to have such a huge collection of colors vegan. Yeah. I was just, I'm a small chocolate company that made that specialise in vegan chocolates. Wow. I try to, what my main aim is is to try to make um, really gourmet chocolates for the vegan market. They're mainly organic ingredients, but um, the packaging itself is completely um, recycled card. And the ink, all the ink that I use is all vegetable-based ink as well. The entire company is built on um, the, the environmental policy that I use for the company. is very, very, very strict and impacts almost everything that I do. I try to make very different flavours, like the chocolate bars. I've got a, a sea salt and Szechuan pepper bar coming out, and there's lots of really unique things coming out as well. So it's... That one's amazing. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, well, people seem to like it. Yes. They've literally eaten it all up. Yeah, it runs out very, very <laughs> fast, so it's, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, well, well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Where, do you base? Where, where are you based? I'm based in Cardiff. special interest in vegan diets for cats and dogs and I'm the author of an informational website which is veggiepets.info. Uh, when you cut open a, a can of dry dog food or cat food there's a distinctive smell that wafts out of the, 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 the packet and that tends to be the, the uh, fat that they spray onto the kibble and this stuff is very highly concentrated in free radicals, trans fatty acids, uh, it's, it's relatively carcinogenic and, and very unhealthy to be consuming. Uh, the food industry executives get with cats and dogs to eat this, these products by the addition of something called Digest, quite commonly, right. which is okay. partially dissolved chicken entrails, uh, which uh, gives distinctive flavours to various batches. Some flavours are considered to taste more like uh, turkey, so they suddenly become um, turkey broth, and others are considered to taste more like fish, so they become ocean white fish, but they're actually just partially dissolved chicken entrails and, and bits of cows and, and pigs and things like that. It is particularly important though that people don't just try a homemade diet because the diet must be nutritionally complete and balanced for four cats, otherwise eventually, not overnight, but eventually they will suffer health problems. So there's a whole range of suppliers that people can contact to get uh, either complete diets or supplements that you can add to a homemade diet, which is cheaper, uh, to make sure they do get the full range of nutrients that they need. Um, do you have a website? I do. It's uh, veggiepets.info, V-E-G-E pets.info, okay. and there, every supplier that I've been able to find right. is up there. I don't really recommend any particular supplier or anything like that. I don't sell these products. I just provide an independent veterinary opinion about the health and safety of these products. Very sexy mic stand. Because this is our only outdoor gig in Bristol, we, we, we usually once a year or twice a year do some kind of festival in the middle of Bristol, which always feels feels like you're, you're playing from your family, your hometown, your crowd, and it's um, really exciting thing to do, but um, yeah, this is the only one we're, we're doing like that this year, so let's hope it doesn't rain too heavily. It's the last day that we're going to play with this man on the trumpet. Ever is it?
Let's go.